Hey y'all, Shiloh here. I know that I've been away a lot lately, but I have something really important to talk to you about. For the past few weeks, I've been focusing my energy and efforts on real life activism, organizing protests, attending protests, communicating with local organizations to better understand what we're trying to achieve, and attending online town hall meetings. But through engulfing myself in all of this activism and surrounding myself with all of these brilliant people, I've realized that I can use my platform, however small it may be, to help educate all of you on how you can help make this system better and to improve the lives of the people in your city. On screen now is a list of activists that you can research whose literature is incredibly educational and informative on transformative justice and civil rights. Do some Googling, go to your local library, and get their books. Educating yourself is the first step to becoming a stronger person. Knowledge is power. Secondly, it is important to engage in discussion on social media about subjects such as activism, the Black Lives Matter movement, social justice, transformative justice, and police abolitionism on a consistent basis. Using your platform to keep the conversation going allows people to remain focused and prevents losing motivation. We are living in an era where the revolution does not need a singular leader in order to be achieved. We don't have a Malcolm X or a Martin Luther King or a Marsha P. Johnson. We are establishing this movement collectively, and as such, we need to work collectively in order to keep ourselves and each other motivated. Communication is key. Most importantly, go to the protests. If you're sick and can't leave the house, then there's no reason that you can't watch the live streams of these protests online. Unicorn Riot is a great place to get well-sourced journalistic live streams of the events going on across the nation. I fully suggest following them. But if you are healthy enough to go to protests, attending in real life and providing not just your physical support, but the emotional support necessary to help keep the movement going is a massive contribution. Being kind to each other can help strengthen and extend the conversation that we need to have. Just because you've stopped seeing protest videos on TikTok doesn't mean the conversation is over. Breonna Taylor's killers are still at large, still wandering the city. And to those of you who would tell me that if I don't like it, then I should leave, I would rather put in the effort to fix my nation than to abandon it and leave it in the hands of bastards like you. I'm not going anywhere, and I will not stop until my black and brown brothers and sisters are safe. And I hope my subscribers will do the same. Remember, stay smart, stay safe, and stay informed. No justice, no peace. I love you.